What's up YouTube? It is time for yet another trip to the thrift. I'm actually in Tequila at the Tequila Value Village. I hit all these Value Villages from Tequila to Tacoma yesterday. However, usually during these sale days they'll have a pre-sale and then the next day they'll restock a bunch of stuff from the back. Let's get into it and see if we can find some fuego. All right, as I said before, I already dug through this place yesterday so it is a little dry. I was hoping they'd restock more. Hopefully the other Value Villages restock more since I did drive all the way out here, but I did find a couple items. I found this vintage Sierra Sport, really dope colorway. It's got the interior fleece on there. Then we got this cream members only jacket. This is definitely going to be an accoutrement. I'm going to acquire this item for sure. And then we have this Patagonia fleece. This is a woman's size large and it is marked at $12.99 which is not a bad deal for Patagonia. It's really dope to find Patagonia in the thrifts. And then also we got a Nike New York Yankees tee. Alright so I'm leaving the Tequila Value Village. I really only found a couple items. It didn't seem like they restocked too much which is kind of depressing. I did see a badass bitch in there. I shouldn't say that. A badass female in there. I'm trying to get out of the habit of saying bitch all the time. It's a really, really bad habit. And it's just not a good term to refer to women in general as she's a lady. She might be a very nice lady. But she was hella cute anyways. And I met a subscriber in there. He was really dope. He was all flexed out with the black diamond earrings just stunned on him. Dude's name was Cameron. Really cool individual. Hopefully I get to see him again in the thrift, man. He seemed like a dope dude. I did feel kind of weird because I had my camera bag like over my shoulder diagonally. So it was kind of embarrassing just because I looked like such a square at the time. But it's just more comfortable to carry my bag like that because the way that the straps are like flips around and does all these acrobatic gymnastics and shit. And I wasn't really expecting to be a subscriber, so when he came up, I was like, oh man, I look like such a fucking tourist right now. Anyways, let's get into the Beer and Value Village and hopefully I find some heat there. Hopefully they did some restocking from the back because the Tequila Value Village was slacking this morning. Literally the only thing they have that's like worth anything is this California Raiders shirt. It's got a really dope writing on the back, but if you can look right here, you'll see like writing. I don't know if you can see it. See that shit? Writing along the neck. Who would do that? Why would they ruin this shirt? More pretty cool Raiders gear, but it's a little bit faded, so I'm gonna have to pass. Damn, more Raiders gear. Someone decided that they weren't a Raiders fan anymore. Swag. Jesus Christ, once again, we found some more Raiders gear. All right, guys, well, the uh, Beerian Value Village was a freaking bust, so it is time to hit the Value Village in Kent. Look at this dude flexed out at the thrifts in the Jag though. I'm actually gonna meet Cameron here. Um, so, you know, it's always cool to meet subscribers, link up with them, thrift with them, whatever. I love thrifting, man. Hopefully someday I get big enough where I can just be like, all right, everyone, let's meet at this Value Village and just hella people come through and just dig for some fucking fire. Anyways, let's get into this Kent Value Village and see if we can find some fuego. Hopefully they restock because Tequila and Burian kind of They've been slacking this morning. We got a really dope Crooks and Castles tee. You got the C on the sleeve. Of course, they're taxing though, and I'm not sure if I'm willing. Ooh, new with tags. Never mind. I'm definitely willing to pay that price because it's new with tags. That's why they're taxing. And we have a Tacoma tee, which you already know is the greatest city in the nation. We got this Obey tank. They still got the staple tee in here, and I'm pretty sure they dropped the price. But it is pretty badly stained. I mean, not terribly. It's got that these marks though. But look at these serious marks on the white. Then you got some marks down there as well. Still really dope. Like if you could bleach these or get these out some way, then this would be a really dope uh -oh. deal. We got a Diamond Supply Co. tee. They are kind of taxing for the quality of the tee. As you can see, he's rolling up some diamonds instead of marijuana. We have some more Crooks and Castles Fuego. Can't stop the crooks. This one is a little bit taxed and it's not new with tags, so I'm gonna have to pass on this one, but still really dope to find Crooks and Castles. Wow, that's so dope. I was literally just looking at buying this tee the other day and check it out, I found it in the thrifts. Led Zeppelin, really, really dope. I'm definitely gonna have to pick this up. I'm super stoked to find this in the thrift. We got some vintage Polo Sport in the thrifts. Polo Sport, little tag embroidered on the sleeve. It's like a Polo Sport fleece. Polo Sport, Ralph Lauren. No Polo Man though. Polo Man. Polo Man. So I paid for my items, theft is bad. I almost walked out, just linked up with Cameron. Really dope individual. As you can see, look at those black diamond earrings just flexed out. <laughs> Check it out, guys. But uh, yeah, I'm about to show you guys what he copped at the Tequila Value Village. He got this uh, Ralph Lauren long sleeve. I don't know where he's located at. I was like, damn, if he pulls up in the Lexus, I'm about to be like low-key beefing with him. Check it out, guys. You got the Ralph Lauren embroidery going on right here. Then you got the Polo Jeans RL right there. Polo man. Polo man. Polo man. Alright, new location. Cameron just showed me this Goodwill. I kind of got lost for a second. I went straight. I don't know, my GPS was all fucked up. But anyways, 
So uh, yeah, we are here and we are about to find some fucking heat. Time it up. We got some Tommy Hilfiger, Hilfiger embroidery right there with the Hilfiger flag embroidered on the sleeve. It is kind of taxed 25, but it would be half off 12.50. So I might have to pick this up. It's really, really freaking dope. Look at this brown North Face. This is definitely going to be an item that I'm gonna have to cop. It's a North Face fleece, wind wall right there on the wrist. Wrist, 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 wrist. Then we got the North Face embroidery on the breast. Really dope item. And it's not too taxed, so I'm definitely going to have to swoop this up. Damn, hopefully this isn't damaged. Really dope Patagonia. Look at this thing. This thing is so ill. If you guys know, Patagonia is qualitess. Then we got a vintage Columbia right here, too. This is only $7.50, so I'm definitely going to have to pick this up. It's marked at $15, but half off. You know, Martin Luther King Day. Anyways, really dope. This Goodwill is coming through in the outerwear section. We got some Seattle Mariners Fuego right here. Look at that back embroidery. Sadly, there is a tear in the armpit region. I think it's on this armpit region, maybe. I don't remember. But one of the armpit regions has a tear. Yeah, right there. Bam, look at that. Really torn up. Clean Empire jacket with that Yeezy Season inspired interior on the hood region of this piece. All right, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna just burn through this real quick. I got the Fila track jacket with this crazy back embroidery. We got the Lacoste jacket, really nice find. Another vintage Columbia, always nice. We got the Seattle Mariners baseball tee. Obviously, I'm from Washington, Seattle Mariners, go you. Anyways, we got the standard deep and grind camo tee, really dope camo. Then you got this weird little tag thing, like an aviator jacket, really ill. Then we have this dope little Arsenal jersey, Nike dry fit that Cameron found. Really ill, definitely have to swoop this up. Ooh, then you got that Gunner screen print on the sleeve. High fashion as fuck, really dope find. Look at the girth on that bitch right there. Mmm, that is looking delicious. And just so you guys know, I'm a fucking chemist with the fucking sodas. We got uh, vanilla Dr. Pepper in here. We got uh, Sprite, vanilla Sprite. And then we also got like an orange vanilla high C. Delicious. When you come to Taco Time, you always gotta get the soda. This is the only time I get soda. Other than that, I don't drink soda anymore, but Taco Time has the greatest machine on the planet where you can mix all these sodas together. So good. And then him over there, he's got a healthy looking salad. Veggie hit bowl. Ooh, delicious. Is that vegetarian? Hey, look at that. Look at that. All right, guys, so I parted ways with Cameron. Really dope individual. It's cool to meet one of my subscribers. And, uh, yeah, man, he's a really dope individual. Now that I know two Camerons, though, I need to differentiate themselves. But if you guys don't know, the uh, other Cameron, the white Cameron that I thrift with normally, his new name is Cameron. Anyways, time to hit some more thrift stores and find some freaking fuego. Due to the amount of footage that I have and how many more thrift stores I have, I'm going to basically do what I did earlier and just group everything together and film it all at once. But we are at the South Tacoma Goodwill. Let's get into it. Oh my god, I just found some fucking Supreme. Just fucking with y'all. It's actually Sessions. I don't know why it says Supreme there, but it's kind of a dope jacket. I'm probably gonna pass just because I haven't heard of this brand, but it's really ill. I like the way they did like these lines and everything. It looks like a really quality jacket. Just for the price tag for a brand that I don't know, not gonna cop. Next up, we got this Adidas jacket. I'm definitely gonna pick this up. I love vintage Adidas. Really clean red and black colorway. Then we got the St. Louis Cardinals shirt. This is super dope, super vintage starter. Really dope graphic. Then we have this really dope Washington Redskins shirt, which I'm not gonna cop, but I just like showing off all the vintage gear. Swag. All right, so I found a couple items in there. Nothing too major, but what I will say is that the assistant manager in there is like the nicest Goodwill manager I've ever ran into. She basically came up and was like, hey, what are you doing? You know, kind of just trying to figure out why I have a camera while I'm filming. And uh, I told her about the YouTube and the Instagram, and she was just super nice, man. And some of the Goodwills that I've been to, like, their managers are hella rude. Like, the ones in Portland, they just kick me and Paul out, which is hella dumb, because obviously we're not going to shop there anymore. And obviously we encourage people to go thrift. Anyways, I thought she was really dope, and she said, like, hey, if you need help with anything, just let me know. Blah, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah, man, that's fucking dope. So uh, all the other Goodwill managers can take a lesson from the South Tacoma Goodwill manager. portion of this trip to the thrift and oh my goodness the Martin Luther King Day sales were insane as you guys know last week I had a bunch of freaking fire that I showed off and that was actually from the Martin Luther King Day pre-sale that Value Village had going on and in today's trip to the thrift I hit like eight or nine thrift stores and these were actually for the Martin Luther King Day sale anyways before I get into it I would like to say two things 
first. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, which is at the Star Life. That will be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. And you can follow me on all my other social networks while you are at it, like Snapchat, Twitter, and Tumblr, and SoundCloud. Everything is the Star Life with two R's. Do not forget the double R's. Also, if you like any of these items that I show you guys today, make sure you check out hfv.bigcartel.com. That is where me and Mr. Paul Cantu sell all of our thrifted fuego. And if you do not have your chance to get your hands on any of these items, because everything will sell out within about 24 to 48 hours, make sure you follow the official Instagram, which is hfv.com. V official. Both of those will be on the screen and in the description below. First up, we have this really dope Fila piece. I really wish this fit me because this thing is insane. As you can see, you got this really nice Fila track jacket. And then on the back, bam, Fila USA, all embroidered, thread count out the ass. This is a beautiful embroidery. Found that at Goodwill. Another thing that I found at Goodwill, or actually Cameron found this at Goodwill and he came through, is this Nike Dry Fit Arsenal jersey right here. Speaking of that jersey, the Fly Emirates, which is like the airport for the United Arab Emirates. Uh, I actually was there, so that's kind of cool. If you guys didn't see that video, I will link that at the end of this video under the cool shit tab, which will have the trip to Dubai. I went to Dubai and Abu Dhabi and saw a bunch of cool stuff. Definitely check that video out if you have not seen it. Once again, continuing with the Goodwill finds, we got this really dope Lacoste jacket. I had to pick this up. This thing is super ill, and as you can see, it's glossy as fuck. We got the Vintage Columbia, which is always nice to find. You have some hints of maroon, I believe. It's not quite purple, but... Very vintage, really dope. You got that vintage green, definitely a dope colorway. Actually, never mind, it's not a maroon that is a purple. I was like looking at it and it definitely looks purple from here, but in the lighting over here, it didn't look as purple. And this is the exact same colorway, but obviously there's much more of that coating part going on. And you can see that it's actually purple. Then you got some vintage greens with the navy on the bottom. Really, really dope. Once again, a nice vintage Columbia. This is a lightweight windbreaker. Really, really nice. Man, I was super stoked to find this at the Goodwill, though. This is really dope. This is a Patagonia jacket. As you guys know, Patagonia makes quality. This is a really dope Patagonia piece. Sadly, this does not fit me. It is a little bit too big, but it is really freaking dope. Speaking of amazing outerwear brands that you can find in the thrifts for a reasonable price, I found a really nice, perfect condition North Face fleece. This thing is super good condition, really nice. Obviously, it's North Face, so you know it's a great, tried and true, tested brand. Is it true and tried or tried and true? I think it's tried and true. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had that right. Anyways, really nice. North Face on the back, embroidered, of course. Really dope. Then we have a nice little vintage Adidas jacket right here. Zip up jacket. You got the red, the black, the white. You have the white stripes on the shoulders to let people know you are an Adidas Yeezy season supporter. Then we got this St. Louis Cardinals shirt. This thing is super dope, super vintage. Nice vintage starter. And for the last Goodwill piece, we got this dope vintage Nautica jacket right here. You have the Nautica embroidery on the breast with the two flags. Really dope vintage Nautica. Now let's get into the Value Village find so we can determine which one was better. I did find some heat in the Value Village, such as new with tags, Crooks and Castles tee. As you can see, you got the C right there and the C right there. Crooks and castles on both sleeves. You got the Medusa logo. Nice creme de la creme members only jacket. Little Nike New York Yankees tee, which is really nice. Super clean Adidas jacket, navy and red. Super nice condition. This thing is like brand freaking new. This was kind of different because I've seen jackets like this that are Polo Ralph Lauren, but not Polo Sport. It's basically the same thing. It's like a fleece jacket, but it's actually Polo Sport. And one thing that's different is that instead of buttons that you like finagle into the little crevice, this is actually like a snap button enclosure on the neck and on the pocket. So I thought that was kind of dope and kind of different. They're chrome buttons, chromed out. And you have a little polo sport patch right there embroidered on the sleeve. Definitely a dope vintage piece. And last but not least is a super dope band tee that I was really stoked about because I was actually considering paying retail for this band tee. However, it still might not fit me. Hopefully it does. But it's a really sick Led Zeppelin band tee. This thing is so ill. As you can see, you have some lyrics right here. Led Zeppelin across the bottom. And then this creepy eerie figure going up really really dope anyways that is it for this trip to the thrift i found some freaking fuego and let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments below make sure you hit that thumbs up that like button it really does help me out thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and as always keep living the star life mission for the land of milk and honey sort of funny how to see change but new roads bring new scars we duck and dodge it out of hoopla push it to the limit going too far that's what it takes to live the star life with two r's now they telling me